Like I said, I grew up on the farm all the way up into the 90s. And all of the old people that I, I used to know around the community that farmed and everything, none of them had insurance growing up. None of them did. Uh, I don't know how to go about finding it. I've tried two different deals and they were hoaxes. I lost 300 bucks on one of them. I just didn't know who to call, where to go, and I haven't had any major medical bills, so I just paid cash. And then I'd write it off at the end of the year and it'd come out even. Last March, I believe it was, end of March, I got really, really sick. And they rushed me to emergency room and they said I had a blockage and then they rushed me to Mercy for emergency surgery and um, I had stage four colon cancer. I spent almost all of uh, April in the hospital. Yeah, so I had to go to the wound clinic twice a week. Uh, had that pump forever. Seemed like then there's the chemo treatments. There's bills popping up every day for things I don't even know I did. Oh, there's a whole slug of uh, heart doctor, surgeon, uh, anesthesiologist, uh, the whole mercy kind of thing. They just keep rolling in, rolling in, rolling in. Oh, it's way over a hundred thousand. About two. The two hundred thousand. I tell them I have stage four colon cancer, and you may have to sue my estate. I don't know what to tell you. I've sold about every piece of farm equipment I had. They said, well, we'll take payments. I said, you know, hey, great, I'll pay you 100 bucks a month. They wanted uh, $900 a month for 30 months. Can't do that. That's a house payment, man. I'm either going to have to file bankruptcy or something. It uh, put me back to square one, basically. I got to start over. I'm getting too old to start over every time. Do what I got to do. Buy and sell some equipment on the side. Uh, just whatever I got to do, make a dollar. It is a, a trend across our state uh, that we're seeing more and more uninsured um, people in our communities uh, and especially in rural Oklahoma. Primarily when we have uninsured patients that, that come to the hospital, they're accessing care in our emergency department. Uh, that is the most costly area to seek care. A lot of times they will be seen uh, in the emergency room and given direction to follow up with primary care physicians and do not seek that. Uh, primary care because of lack of insurance and, and they don't have a, a means to pay. I wish I had an easy answer uh, to the fix. You know, more people being able to qualify for Medicaid uh, would be one of those ways that uh, would help offset some of the cost for us. So I think there's a lot of things that are going to have to uh, change in order to, to make it better for the entire population. Uh, yes, I'm getting better every day, but my hands are still a little numb and my feet are getting better. Um, I just don't have any stamina. I'm pretty lucky. I've only got one more doctor's visit. Uh, I've got a PET scan and then May 14th, I do my final scope. I could kind of get my life back. That would be nice. Yeah, I would really love to have some health insurance if I could find the right one. I don't know how they're going to fix it. They've got to do something. 
who can't afford to pay this, 